Hello YouTube, this is Aman Juman and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to set up Argo Tunnel. So what's, what's actually Argo Tunnel? So Argo Tunnel is a mechanism how to expose your uh, application ports behind the firewall. So you don't need to open any ports or if you are in, in private network, you can expose your, your application without uh, asking your system administrator. So, uh, I'm not actually focusing on people how to set up Argo Tunnel, but I rather like to say how to expose your uh, web application uh, from your network that used to got uh, net translation or shared IP address. So, in in, in Asian countries, lots of uh, users there are available that have shared IP address and they cannot run their web application or something against uh, any port because of uh, those ISPs are using uh, shared IP address. So this is why we are using Cloudflare Argo Tunnel. So the Cloudflare Argo Tunnel is not free, it needs a subscription. So for uh, to use Argo Tunnel is take five dollar per month, but we're gonna use it free. So the the free mechanism is only for development, not for commercial uses. So I'm not recommend you guys to use it for your um, ongoing application. So the the free one is called Try Cloudflare. So let's get and get started. So uh, I have an uh, a VM running in Google Cloud. So I'm gonna set up an Nginx server and I'm gonna enable the firewall so that I'm gonna show you I cannot access my web server. So let's get installed Nginx first. So let's go ahead and copy the server IP address. This is the server IP. So here, as you guys can see, it's connecting. So if I if I open Telnet. net and the server IP address and port you can oh sorry so I'm gonna type telnet and port 80 as you guys can see is connecting it's not able to connect the Nginx server but if you can see in here service nginx status in this case running so let's go and try curl v localhost you can see nginx is running well but uh, i haven't opened on the https ports as you guys can see in here uh, in here you can see no firewall is enabled so that means the web application is not possible it's not possible to expose my web application from here so let's go and get uh, let's go and install cry cloudflare so here uh, the download page you can download uh, based upon your operating system needed so i'm going to download the dev file copy the link location and web get uh, it's control v so we're gonna install Cloudflare service. So apt get install dot slash Cloudflare dev. So here it is, Cloudflare installed. So now we're gonna try to follow the documentation. This is easy. Uh, there's a documentation how can you install it so here you can see the gateway uh, how to use this so this is how you can you have to use it so if you try this one this is gonna run behind the port 
So let's go and try this one first. So you can see um, it's trying to expose web application from 8080, but there is no web application running in 8080. So I will have to follow this guy, this URL using our application. So let's go and go ahead and put this one. So as our web application, which is Nginx, is running behind port 80, so I'm going to put 80 or just simply type localhost. So it's trying to say it's going to connect Hong Kong, the nearby data center, cloud data center, and it's give me this URL to connect. So if I open this one, you can see Nginx is opened. Eventually, I can browse with HTTP as well. So this is how these things work. Eventually, it's not possible to open your uh, firewall. That case is going to work well. So sort those people who are working in, in your computer, like people using uh, Apache or XAMPP, there's a reason people using localhost because they have to try in, in their computer. So that some particular reason they have to showcase their project. So this is how you guys can expose your port using try Cloudflare. And this is also easy if you try on in, in uh, Windows Server as well. So here is the Windows Twitter. I'll show you Windows 1 in another tutorial. But uh, in here, let's go and cancel Control c shut down this one. So once we shut down it, uh, we cannot use this one. If, if you refresh this one, it's not going to work later. So it's not shut down yet. And uh, if you try to use the URL as, is, uh, as a domain, that case, like this one is not well, um, it's not a custom domain. So you can just copy this one and uh, create a CNAME record just like in, in your domain. So if in my domain, I can go for is CF or whatever you can just type and just save it. So make sure you just uncheck this one because it's gonna double reverse proxy. So I just not recommend to use this one. So this is how these things work. So and I'm gonna just show you a couple of tricks in here. In case in some case if you like to set up Argo tunnel just for load balancer, that case you need some troubleshoot. So uh, Consider you have uh, Cloudflare Argo Tunnel subscription. So what what that case you're gonna set up? So first of all, you have to go Cloudflare Cloudflare service install. So it says that failed to copy user configuration before a running service. Ensure that etc Cloudflare contain two files. So start pm and conf yml. So there is no such file in directory. So I don't have any subscription right now, but I'm still able to show how to configure this uh, in this tunnel. So Cloudflare, Cloudflare, make sure the name you spell correctly. Cloudflare login. I think, am I right? Okay. They gave you the URL, so just to copy this one so I'm gonna copy and open it in here after opening this page uh, all of your sites will show up in here so you have to just select on your site link so I'm gonna click on free size on this one so click it it's gonna say ask for authorization so I'm gonna going ahead and click authorize So it's going to download. So it's downloaded successful. So the file is saved on here. So I'm going to copy CP this one to var etc. Sorry, uh, it's going to be in etc cloud flared and just do it. So if I let's go and open the directory etc. Cloud flared. Now, so you can see that start 
m file is available but there is no yml file so let's go and create an yml file touch config.yml so now we're gonna install cloudflare service so cloud flared service install so you can see cloudflare service is installed so now we can see service cloudflare status so it's uh, activate but not started yet so if you have a domain running with the subscription you can start the port just just right now so you all you have to do is as you can i'm gonna show you up in here okay if you like to use custom url like if you have a subscription you have to follow just like this one so i'm gonna copy this part and copy and paste it in here so in host name is going to be your domain name so as i say i just I say that um, i haven't got any subscription right now so it's not going to work but still i'm going to show you guys how to do this so let's just say this is test.amanjuman.me then you have to put the uh, you on uh, the url endpoint of where you have web application running so let's go ahead and copy this one and put it in here so here uh, here you can see the local host so if you have port a0, a0 if your application is running in port a0 a0 you have to put the right port in here so as i have running this one in here a local host only just enter it so if you have a subscription you should definitely see there is a new records in in your dns so i don't have any records in my dns panel because of i don't have any cloudflare argo tunnel subscription here you can see i just refresh the page nothing so this is how cloudflare argo tunnel works so that's it so if you guys have any question uh, please let me know and don't forget to subscribe my channel